Well, many of us watch the aftermath of terrorist attacks or natural disasters and we feel helpless. But a company on the University of Maryland campus saw an opportunity to transform the technology we all love to use for cool aerial pictures as a way to save lives. And Jess Arnold got a sneak peek. It's difficult to prevent a mass casualty situation, like a terrorist attack or natural disaster, but a company born on the University of Maryland campus called Airgility thinks it can help save lives in the aftermath. When I'm looking at something like that, it, it, what goes through my head is oh, this problem can be solved, and, um, and how do we solve that problem? The Airgility team says the solution starts at takeoff. The idea behind it is to um, go into a mass casualty situation. It could be an earthquake, it could be a, a, a fire, a collapse of a building, and be able to go inside that building before the first responders do. Don't put them in hazard's way initially. So the idea is sending the drone, flying around, and being able to sense signs of human life through different techniques. For example, by equipping thermal technology or vision-based technologies, and now as we endeavor into AI and higher level algorithms, the vehicles can actually become smart. The drone can sense as we approach and backs off without the pilot controlling it. And their drone is more sophisticated than the typical quadcopter we're used to seeing. We're able to orient our aircraft in many different configurations and also go a little further and faster than your average quadcopter. So that allows us to do a, a much bigger range of missions. The heart of every mission, though, is helping humanity. The Department of Homeland Security told me that they're really excited about the potential of this new technology. In just a couple of weeks, Air Agility and some other companies will join DHS and FEMA at a test site in Indiana to see how they can best design their drones like this one to help first responders. I'll have more info for you on WUSA9.com. Jess Arnold, WUSA9.